Hello everybody and welcome back to the... Wait, what? Why is there a black screen? There you go. Welcome back. I was like, I looked up to my second monitor and I'm like, hang on OBS. What are you doing here? Anyways, welcome back to the safe hour jumping in again. I'm just going to do a Eden run. I'm really feeling like Eden is a fun chap. We've actually not got a lot left to do as him, to be honest. But we'll try and do a Mega Satan run, or if not that, a Beast run. But I, I gotta say, someone in my Discord was talking about having a really cool Eden run, and I was like, actually, it's been a little bit of time since I did an Eden run. I, I really would love to do an Eden streak on the uh, on the channel at some point. I, find, I know that, like, they're kind of basic and they're kind of outplayed, but I do quite enjoy them. They are a lot of fun, especially, like, the randomized starting stats as well as the items. It's like, on Gungeon, you get Paradox, but Paradox doesn't have randomized stats, so it's, like, not really the same experience. Also, again, I apologize if the... Um, Oh, god damn. Okay, we've got the Rubik's Cube. Indeed we do. So, let me see how this works. Okay, in Solve State, rerolls items tend to scrambled Rubik's Dice, increasing charge bar in Scrambled State. It can be used without full charge, but will reroll items into glitched items. After fully charged, it will return to its solved state. Okay. Intriguing. Heart transplant. Um, charges every two seconds... It's an active item. I, I'll be honest, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> but interesting. I, th I actually used it immediately because I thought this was a different Rubik's Cube item. I thought this was the one where you have to, like, try and solve it. So, can we use it now at a one pip charge to get a glitched item? We can. Flame tea. Why the hell wouldn't I? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> um Alrighty then. <laughs> yeah. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. <laughs> A lot of things happened. A lot of things happened. But I guess no more Rubik's Cube for us. Um I don't know if I'm gonna get these bees every room or if that was just a one-time deal. Really don't know. But yeah, I do love a bit of Eden here and there. And uh, yeah, this 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 got wacky pretty much straight away. Um, I think actually that's kind of been a net negative that I took that. Because the active that we got given, I'm not a particularly big fan of. Although it's not a bad active at all. It's a HP generator. And I don't really know what happened to all the stats and stuff that it dropped. That was strange. Really strange. But anyways, how has everyone been on this fine day? Oh god, I do not like this. I'm trying to use my uh, angelic protector to do some damage. It's not easy. I don't care. I don't care. Just, 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 just stop. Just try and get as much money as we possibly can out of this. I lost a lot of HP there, but I did not care at all. I'm just going to ton of money out of it. And we've got loads of money now. Also, where's the music? What happened to the music? This is, it's, it's strange without music. I don't know if I like it. But maybe we can do some cool stuff with this active. I don't know. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. But I was kind of down to mess around with uh, a bunch of glitched items this run. But the game said, no, no, no. It said, no, no, no. But yeah, I would love to do more Eden Streak style stuff. It'd be fun. It would be fun. It's like my favourite type of streak to do, but I feel like the way that I do my content with Isaac on YouTube now, it just doesn't really work very well on my channel. Uh, also, by the way, um, I have mentioned a few times now about a Skyrim series that I was going to start. I actually mentioned it probably over a year ago initially, and then I had to scrap the idea because of some recording issues, which I've since fixed, and then uh, I've set up my Skyrim to be reasonably stable about as stable as mega modded skyrim can be it's not extremely stable there's still some bugs and glitches but it, it works pretty well and i've recorded about 10 episodes so far of modded skyrim and at the minute i'm just like sitting on them um but i'd be interested to know would you guys prefer to see them on the second channel or the or the prime or this channel because basically my thinking is the second channel will get a lot less exposure people oh, for god's sake people will see them a lot less um so it's like that's a downside of putting it on that channel but also considering it's not roguelike related i don't really want to flood this channel with content that's like not 
but people might not see as befitting of this channel sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Oh my god. Um, uh, be best way I can describe it. Um, I should really go back to the shop here. Um, but also, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice if more people saw it, I guess. So I, I'm kind of curious. I, I was maybe thinking of like putting the first episode on this channel and then subsequent ep episodes on the second channel so people know it exists and then they, they know where to find it in, for the future. Also, another reason that I've sort of kind of been straying away from thinking about putting on the main channel is because um, it's a series that I'm not going to... Rec like, I, on most of my series, for the most part, I have a fairly fairly rigid schedule of when I record them and upload them. Uh, it does fall by the wayside every now and again, but everyone knows that it's Gungeon every single day. Uh, enter the Gungeon once to twice a week. Um, something special on the weekend, although the last few weekends, Dead Estate has been absent. I apologise, I've been a busy little boy. Um, and then, like, a separate series once or twice a week, like it was Peglin, which is now switched over to Voidigo, which will be coming directly after this episode, by the way, if you're watching this. Um... Oh, we get the corn thing. Gross. Um, although it does spin faster now. Which could make it good, I guess. Um, but yeah, so... I, like, another reason I don't want to upload it is I think Skyrim will be a very much, like, I will just record it and upload it when I feel like it. At the minute, I've already backlogged a ton of episodes, because I was just, I was basically just having a lot of fun playing it, um, until, uh, destroys any held trinkets on use, spawns two to four random pickups. This is, a, this is kind of a weird one, that one. Don't think I'm going to use it. Um... Yeah, um, it's it's like I've got, I've backlogged it a bunch because I was basically waiting for Diablo Four and Battlebit to come out, so I just played it a ton. Um, but like once I get through my backlog, I don't know how often I'll record it, so therefore I don't know how often I'll upload it. So that's another sort of reason where I'm like, eh, should I should I do it on the main channel or not? I'm not really sure. But if you guys want to see it on main channel, then uh, let me know. Uh, so far, I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, the, the first few episodes were a bit iffy. Um, <laughs> basically, I was like figuring out a lot of like how the mods that I was using works, and as well as working around some of the bugs, um, and just sort of figuring out what I was going to do with myself, like where I was going to take myself in terms of if I do story missions, or if I do side missions, or whatnot. Um, and also figuring out a lot of the um, difficulty mods that I had enabled. Because the de default Skyrim is... Okay. Default Skyrim is um, very, very easy. So I've got a ton of mods that like add way harder combat and like harder like scaling of money and XP and all that sort of stuff. So I, like I, I was getting trashed on a lot. I also have a mod that um, implements a system from another game called Shadow of Mordor, I think it is. Um, that basically in that game when you die you don't just like reload a save point like you would on Skyrim. You actually um, get the enemy that killed you becomes your nemesis and you can like go hunt them back down and like they have some of your loot on them and they get like a buff and stuff and it adds that into the game. It's really fucking cool. But I was getting absolutely shit on because of it. Um, I was, yeah, I was getting absolutely shit on because of it for a little bit. So I died quite a lot in the first few episodes, but I get there eventually. And then, like I said, it was all about figuring out our build, so... Anyways, yeah, I'd just be interested to, to hear where people would want to see that and, like, how much people want to see that. Because I, when I first brought up the uh, idea of a Skyrim series, like a modded Skyrim series on the channel, people were pretty receptive of it. People really liked the idea. Um, so, I've I've kind of decided just, just record some and then I've got it for when I want it, I guess. And like I said, it was just... I think another thing about it as well is I, I love modding Skyrim and I love playing modded Skyrim, but I always get like distracted by other games, which coincidentally is what has happened recently because uh, ba ba uh, Battlebit and Diablo 4 came out. But my issue was always that I'd never come back to it when, when I got distracted because I don't know, I just wouldn't. Whereas I feel like if I'm recording it and then uploading it to YouTube, I've got way more of a reason to like stay on with it and keep playing. Um, and so that's another reason I wanted to record it, even if not for putting it out on YouTube, like I said, I haven't so far. It just gave me a bit more sort of reason to keep playing. God, our, our, uh, our fire rate right now is, is pretty trash. It ain't great. I always forget what these guys do. Do they just do that dashing? Is that all they do? We got keys ready for the shop here. When they dash, they don't seem to aim for you either. Also, you are just doing a whole lot of nothing. 
Jar of Flies is not really what I'm looking for right now. Um, ooh. Do you know what? That, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. Also, crawl space. Lovely. Give me a black market and I'll be forever grateful. Not only did you not give me a black market, you gave me the scissors. Come on now. Rude. But yeah, I went for 4.5 bolt here because I think... With this being a, is it five room charge? 4.5 volt could be pretty darn good with it. O overall, likely likely to get less charge per room, but from bosses we can get a bit more. And it really just depends, to be honest. Uh, death card. It didn't quite go how I wanted it to, but that's all right. I'm trying to use my corn and stuff when I can, but it's not particularly easy. And then we get some meat. We do not want to go devil deal here. We want to be going angel. Um, and I will check out this other room over here. Why not? Why the heck not? But yeah, I'm about to record some Voidigo after this episode. As for the question of the day, by the way, uh, what, what's just a game that you've been playing and enjoying right now? Because I've asked this question a lot, but... It's a question that people constantly have new answers to, so it's worth asking more than once. Um, and I've just, I've, I've been telling people about it, but I've been playing Battlebit. And goddamn, if you like FPS games, that game is a fucking masterpiece, and it's so cheap. Um, I guess we'll take it. It's like £12, and it's so goddamn good. Uh, I, I guess I should take the copper bombs, why the hell wouldn't I? Wait, actually, do my copper, does it use the copper bombs first? Okay, it does use the copper bombs, but they're golden copper bombs, which is kind of intriguing. Um, so we know where our secret rooms are already, so at the minute we're just looking for, like, potential quarter and stuff. Oh, wait, so it, it's converted. Now that I've used the copper bombs, it's converted my copper bombs into regular bombs. Pretty darn useful. Ah, the spiders everywhere. Get away from me, little skitters. Shortcut through here. Take you out. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much else for us on this floor. I really don't, but... Still, thank you for the golden bomb nonetheless. I guess I could do this. I guess I could do this. Is there anything down here I could potentially do? No. And then I guess I'll blow this up. PhD can't afford it, but hey her. Right, okay. Reasonably happy with this floor. Reasonably happy. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Uh, but yeah, oh my god. I've just been playing Battle Bit and I've just been absolutely loving it. Also, Voidiger. God damn. I've been holding on to that game for a while. Oh god, this is a bit of a treacherous room, this. I really hope we get some fire rate soon. Um, I've been holding on to that game for a while. Like, I've had it in my Steam library for probably about six months, and I've been... I, I've been so very tempted to play it on my own, because I watched... I think I first watched Hutz play it, um... No, I... I don't know who I first watched play. I don't think it was Hutz. It might have been Alexa. Uh, but then Hutz did a video on it, and I was like, oh my god, that game looks really good. I'm going to buy it. Cause I think it was on sale at the time, which is the reason I bought it. But And I, I've always had it in, like, oh, if my internet goes off, or if I just need a, gate, a fresh game to play, I've got this game to play. There you go. I've always got this game just sitting there. So I've had it ready. And every time I've gone to play it, I've always been like, but what if I want to make content on it? Then it's like, I've got to wait until... Like, I've got to wait to have my first experience on the game until it's on video because that's so much more entertaining for you guys if I'm learning it with, like, for the first time. At least I think so. Um, so I was like, I've always held off and I was like, ah, I don't know when I'm going to do it on YouTube. Maybe I'll wait for the 1.0 release. But I, I, I was looking at the, uh, the roadmap for the game and, like, there was no sort of indication of when the 1.0 release would be. So I was like, ah, uh, it's a bit... 
I really want to play it. It's a bit risky to wait because I could be waiting a while. And I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll just, I'll put it on the back burner. I'm in no desperate need to play it, although I was a bit desperate. Um, and then there you go. Just out of the blue, 1.0 comes out and it's like, oh, hell. Oh, hell. Let's, um... Let's get ready to party, and yeah, started on the channel, and honestly, first episode did really, really well for a, for a series like that. I mean, it, it's not, like, insane levels of views, but it got, like, 800 views, which is, like, pretty great for a, um, oh, HP down, God damn it. Um, which is pretty pretty great for a, a new series out of a game that isn't like well established on YouTube. Um, especially not right now. Not many people are doing regular Voidigo content, so I was really happy to see that it got good views, and I'm gonna keep it up. And I really hope you guys enjoy it because I am thoroughly enjoying it. And if you haven't checked it out yet, please go and take a look. Basically, if you like Nuclear Throne or Enter the Gungeon, I think it's a game that you'll enjoy um, because it's got aspects of both of those as well as a bunch of other stuff. Heavy, heavy, heavy risk reward aspects as well which I always appreciate um not great items today not great items I will take said pill it is a range down a pretty big range down as well not a 0.5 but a whole one range down this run feels a little icky right now I'll be honest this run feels a little icky do not like this room What I need is I need more orbitals so that I can take advantage of my Guardian a bit more. Doesn't Guardian also attract in shots and can drop an Eternal Heart every now and again? If I remember correctly, that's how this, this bad boy works. We do have a Tinted Rock back there. Do I want to go for said Tinted Rock? I think I do. Actually, I don't... I, for some reason, I thought it was going to be a risk to go for it, but it's not. God damn, these things are tanky. What the fuck? I will open this as well. Why not? Look for those on-hit effect items here and there. Oh, God. This is sketchy. This is sketchy. My goodness. Also, recently been re-watching the Harry Potter films, just because they're on Netflix now and I haven't seen them in ages. Also, I know there's, there's, there's a controversy about the creator of the Harry Potter series. It, it, whatever. I don't support her, I don't support it, but the, the films that I watched as a kid, I wanted to re-watch them. Please don't start anything in the comments because I've watched films. I'm not saying that anyone would, but you never know. Um, anyhow, some of the things that they do in those films are bizarre. Like, the, um, the Order of the Phoenix is, a f I think it's the fifth one, it's the one that we just watched. That one is weird. Like, the plot is absolutely all over the place. Like, absolutely all over the place. Um, there's, like, so much going on, and, like, at the same time, by the end of the film, like, nothing really happens. It, it was it was weird. Um, and then as well, uh, the Goblet of Fire, which is like the Hunger Games style. I won't say Hunger Games style, but it's like the competition style one. Um, where they have to, like, do a bunch of challenges against, like, other schools. That one is also very strange in just, like, so, like... Spoiler alert, the film ends with um, with Voldemort returning via changing this cup into a port key and teleporting Harry Potter and Cedric to this, like, graveyard. Um, and then he comes back and he kills, uh, Voldemort kills Cedric and he's he's back now. Um, and, and Harry, like, obviously tells everyone and no one, no one believes him, which is fair, it's just fine. I, I kind of, I, like, I, I disagree with the fact that they, dis that they wouldn't believe him, but also, like... I kind of get that, but the weird thing is, like, they literally, like, they come back out of this port key with Cedric with the body, and the, 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 the dad of Cedric is, like, l like l leaning over his child's corpse, weeping, and then, like, literally the very next scene, 
that's like it's like the end of term and everyone's cheering and clapping and leaving school and um and uh, and uh, part, partly I was kind of like that's weird but also I do kind of get it because like I said people don't really believe that it happened uh, so I was like okay kind of I guess um I don't really care about the token um I was like, kind of, I guess, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, but then, like, Hermione, who definitely would believe Harry, was just like, oh, what a what a crazy year we've had. We can never have a quiet year at Hogwarts. I was like, what the fuck? She, and she, she's, like, giggling and laughing, and Harry's like, yeah, ha, ha, ha. It's like, you just witnessed your friend die. I mean, it wasn't a friend, but, like, you just witnessed someone die right in front of you. You had to carry their corpse back to their father. And he's like, ha, ha, ha. It's like, it, I don't know how long it had been in terms of the film, like, in terms of the in-game, in-film in time. But, like, in the, in watching it, it would it had literally been scene to scene. It was minutes. And I was like, just, just what the hell's going on? This is bizarre. This is so strange. <laughs> I found it to be very, very odd. And it kind of pulled me out of the film a little bit. <laughs> hey, little Chad. Oh, God damn, our items are not great. Uh, items are not great. This is supposed to be a Mega Satan run as well. I'm hoping that like this floor we get an angel deal and it 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 changes everything. I there's only a few angel items that could really do that for us, so it's gonna be a hard ask, I'll be honest, but you never know. You never quite know. Like, I'm actually at the point where I feel so weak as to need to use my orbitals for damage where I can, because it is really it's quite a struggle bush right now. I'm also taking all the pills I can um, for the chance of like tears ups, because our tears are abysmal. Get out of here. Thank you for the heart, I guess. What the fuck? That's a golden button. Oh, it's an endless button. Oh, we're going to have some fun with this. Also, please don't blow up that blood bank. Oh, God. Why am I <laughs> damage is so poor? My damage is so poor. Child's heart's probably better. Endless charges for our active here, I guess. Oh, wait, the golden button's over. Damn, I was all excited. Didn't last very long at all. That's the first time I've seen one of those, though. Very first golden button I've seen. Oh, come on. You have to make a room like this. Fuck you. Turn you into poop. I can't be asked with you. Really? Can you stop placing him over that side, please, so I can kill him? Oh, come on now. This is stupid. Why design a room like this? I'm just going to bomb through. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, we got one of these little potatoes floating around us. I know it's a sponge. Shush. I'm just going to call it potato because it looks a bit like a potato. My god, this run is pretty tragic. Just think how wacky this could have been if we didn't auto-delete our Rubik's Cube in the very first room. Angel Deal, you've really got to be something special here. You've really got to change my tune about this run, because right now... I, I am not... I'm not faring our chances against Mega Satan all too well. I couldn't be asked. <laughs> I just pooped them all. We got a golden item. This could be a turning point for us, or it could be an item that does nothing when golden. It's a it's a very good item, and it actually did do something while gold. It doubled the amount of tears up it normally gives. So we actually got a reasonably good tears up. But yeah, after a certain distance, we get piercing on our tears now. It's pretty good stuff. It's not game-changing, but it's, it's pretty good stuff. 
certainly makes me happy. And small rock. Okay. Things are turning around, people. Things are turning around. All you've got to do is complain to the game and it will give you what you need. That is how this works. We do have enough money for the shop as well. Good, good. Oh my god, there's so many spiders in this room. That was redonkulous. Shop, I'm just going to buy a random. That is a damage up and a range up. Great stuff. Sadly, we do not have enough to uh, open up that. Do we have the keys for it? That's okay. I'll try and buy this other item as well because we've got another penny in this room here. Give me, give me. Probably be an active, but I've got to try it. It could actually be a better active, so... It's spider mod. Nice. Okay. Things are, things are looking a bit more peachy than they once were. Oh, come on, you fat shit. Get, get in line. Good. Nice piercing helped us out there. We've been to I yeah, we've been to the rooms that are important. Do have a rather annoying boss now though. It's not that bad, but when he does the whole moving around business, it can be a little painful. I used to find that attack really difficult, but now it's it's not it's not a difficult attack, it's just a frustrating one. That isn't the one, it's another one where he moves around a lot. Nice. We did get our angel deal. We also okay. Tears have been solved. Circle protection. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's pretty good. Okay, I think. This run is on track now to being pretty decent. I would say we need a bit more damage, but tears have definitely been sorted. We now have some pseudo piercing. HP is fine. I think I think we're on for a decent one here. Especially if we can get more angel deals in the in the business as well. That would be very, very lovely. And there is our key piece as well. Very good, very nice. Right. Let's keep on moving. Hope we can get more angel deals along the way here. What would I be hoping for from angel deal that isn't just one of the rum winning items? <laughs> I don't know what would be a really good one, to be honest. Pride pin could be good. Any, any sort of tear effect would be nice. You are kind of taking a beating, my guy. It's showing that our damage isn't amazing. It's not terrible by any means, but it's not great. God damn. Oh, you've messed up there, my lad. You've messed up there. My children are after you now. And they are ferocious. Unfortunately, we do not have mapping on this floor, so that's a bit of a bummer. Also, what the fuck? Why, why is this guy getting dragged towards me? Stop. Did not like that. I've already got small rocks, so there isn't really much point to uh, blowing this up, but... What the hell? We got a luck upgrade there, nice. How do we get over there, exactly? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um... Spawns three golem trinkets. We've got plus six range. Uh, Tears are now shot in an arc. That's kind of fun. Chance to reroll pickups into sacks. 
Uh, it's kind of good. Petrified poop doesn't count as a goddamn thingy trinket. Do you know what? Because it's funny, let's take this one. Can't shoot over these goddamn blocks though, can I? Oh god. Rooms like this. I, like, I get them. I, I understand the, the, the like, hey, it's cool because we get to use these blocks sort of thing, but uh, I'm not a fan of these rooms. They just take way too long. I wish they were significantly quicker. God damn, with no mapping here, this is going to be atrocious. Oh, wait a minute, though. Okay. I have to take this instead. The fling thing is cool, but... What, what's the deal with a Trinity Worm specifically coming out of those sacks? Like, like we've just got two of them. But this Trinity Worm is, is really good. And with piercing on it, it's even better. Do you know what was I saying? Prank cookie, so good. Tear effects, hell yes. Yeah, I like this. There's a storm going on now. By the way, there's a, a mod update coming out for the, um, for the what's it called mod? Uh, the reworked foes and bosses that adds a rework to this guy. It looked real goddamn cool. Right, there you go. Taken care of. No angel deal this time around, which is fair. Tears up, love it. Tears up, love it. Telepills. Don't love it so much, especially taking me to a room that I hadn't already been to. So I don't really know where I'm going now. Huh. Make that noise more, you beautiful bastard. I want that noise as my ringtone. The confusing thing is as well, I used the hermit card, so I tell I like I don't I didn't even make a correct path to the way that I was going, so I don't even know if I'm on the right path or not. Wholeheartedly confused. Oh, but we'll find our way eventually. I hope. Goddamn telepills. I knew exactly where I was going and everything. Telepills has ruined everything. Oh my god, how is there this many rooms that we never went to? It's bizarre. Okay. Kind of know where we are now, I think. Okay, I think this should be the right room. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Okay, we're good to go. But yeah, Trinity Worm is just bizarre. It's absolutely crazy. And I love it. That's annoying. Um, we're likely to get one key out of these three, so let's do this. In fact, we can get an extra bomb back if we do this instead. Which is tedious, and it's going to take a while. But it's worth it. We did indeed get a single key back, although those three... Uh, to stone chests were not very lucrative, I've got to say. Okay. Keep it moving, give me that key. 
But yeah, we this this run this run really changed its shape in uh, a very short amount of time. From one floor to the next, it has created this colourful storm of crazy. Big don't like this. Very bigly don't like this. This room is multicolored gross. Took more damage than I should have there. Very much was not happy with that room. Rooms where you gotta make me do things and go places. Not my style. Not my style. Asking me to do something in a video game because you think it'll be fun? Hell no. Oh, really? I made that guy angry, therefore he stayed alive, therefore he hit me. No, no, no. No bueno. Fuck me. Get away, you ghosty shithead. Oh, my God. I'm losing health very rapidly on this floor. These big ugly ghosts are fucking me off. Extra bomb. Half a red heart, not bad. Oh, you bitch! I didn't think he'd pop up that quickly. And then an active that I don't need. Ugh. Come on now. Don't you- Oh, you bitch of a shot. Stop, 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 stop. Maybe worth it. That was definitely worth it. Hell yes. Also, that is a key for 71 cent. A 7 cent um, infamy? Very, very good. Okay, don't know what happened this time around, but she is dying quick. But well, she's rage mode again, so she can't die. Oh shit. I don't think I've ever seen that many things go into one rock before. This 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 should give a thousand black hearts. Or an item. I to be fair, I do want the uh, damage up. Right. Let's go. We cannot see our hearts. That is okay. We do not need to see our hearts. Hopefully we get plenty of active charges. Now our damage has gone up and the enemies have higher HP. Should be getting charges faster than before. I can't actively hit you, so you're going to say you have to kind of just step into my web here. Okay, it's going to be kind of look of the draw here, as to how quickly we clear rooms. We have the tools, but the game may not do what we want it to. We'll, we'll just have to see. Wow. That dude lobbed a bomb out, and it exploded right on top of me. That was pretty good. God damn it. Why on the womb is my body so drawn to going the wrong way on purpose every time? How how do I avoid this dumbfounded stupidity? It's very annoying.
I thought I'd kill them regularly for higher chances of charges. You just do one charge, okay. I can deal with one charge. Shots, so I'm gonna need you to calm down so I can fire this bomb off. Without you wrecking up everything I love and hold dear. Ugh, money. I don't need money. What I need is more damage. Tears are really good right now. We're fine on tears. Ooh, what the hell? What kind of noise was that? Oh, it's, it's you doing your roly polies. Whoa. I didn't know about that. I was not privy to the roly polies. Why doesn't this big guy have a health bar? Does he, like, not count as an enemy? Also, more HP lost. Not liking the amount of HP I'm losing at the minute. It's a lot. It's weird that the health turns green. It goes from blue to green. I feel like it should go from green to, like, slowly to red. I don't think there needs to be a middle ground. Although, I guess it does tell you, like, enemies like this have mid-HP and then bigger enemies have high HP. So, I guess in that respect, it's pretty useful. You can tell which enemies have lower HP off of the bat. Why? Why? Nice. I like that quite a lot. We've got some wisps going on. Our active is still in the Book of Virtues, though. What does that mean? Does it mean I still get Book of Virtues wisps? Because if so, that's pretty awesome. Now it'll stay like that, right? Until I go to the next floor. Maybe it's just for one floor it stays like that. It did not generate a wisp when I did that, so I guess it's just visual. Purely visual. Right, good, good. Okay. Well, this has spoilt my plans a little bit, because I really, really, really needed a second key piece. Speaking of, where the fuck's my first? Okay, so there it is. Why did I get a devil deal here, exactly? Bitch, why? It's a really good item as well, but I cannot take. What the fuck? Was it because I took the negative? I don't think so, right? I really need an angel deal here. Otherwise, it spoils the whole point of this run. Got a 20% chance. Game's been mean to me today. It has been very mean. We've done 9.7 damage somehow. Pretty good going, really. Oh, of course, we just got that item that frees enemies when you walk in. I think that's a bit of a damage up, isn't it? One of the things that is awful about this trinket, I've got to say, is it just messes with your knockback so much. Also, I used a bomb again without thinking about it. Oh, great. Could just keep getting him to summon things for me and then uh, getting charges off of them forever. But I think with our setup, it's pretty hard for us to actively do that, actually. I, s I say I could, but not killing the boss on purpose is not something we can feasibly do. Keep it moving. I'm not hopeful for this run anymore, though. This this run was starting to look kind of hot. It was starting to look kind of spicy. And the game threw me a curveball with that devil deal. I didn't even think about the fact that I was not set for my angel deal yet. I didn't even think about it.
There's always the chance of the sacrifice room, I guess. Okay. Now it's just the boss. I don't really know where's the best for us to stand, to be honest, for the boss. I don't know where's, like, optimal for us to hit as many shots as possible. I guess just close up. Second protection helps as well. We kill reasonably quick. It's not crazy, but it's enough to get us by, I guess. Right, okay. Angel deal. Present yourself. You... You little shyster. God damn it, game. Okay, so basically we are now completely reliant on a sack room, which is not a position I'd like to be in, especially with my limited HP. I just saved your life, mister. Absolutely saved your life. What do you have to say for me for yourself? You, you cute little fella. A library. Maybe a library can save us. Apart from the fact that I definitely don't have enough uh, keys to get into a library, but there you go. This will turn off the eye, I'm hoping. It did not turn off the eye. Oh, come on now, game. Don't be like this. I put my time in. Oh, I forgot that that little dude that was latched onto him makes the boss invisible. Pretty cool. I like the enemy. It's a cool design. These guys have got asses on their heads. Oh god. Oh my god. That with spider mod is so much scarier. Question is, do I clear the floor in search of the sack room? I feel the answer's no, right? I don't know. Maybe. Why am I still feared? I feel lasted for a long time. God damn you purple poops. Just funny how like we're in a situation where we just can't physically aim at enemies, we just gotta herp. I'm getting hit a lot. Luckily our charges do come back pretty darn quickly at this stage. Oh, really? I really didn't want to fight you right now. I get hit against this guy so goddamn much. And then him going invincible doesn't help. This this attack, that that laser one, my brain, it just don't work for me. I mean, Judas's shadow, it's it's a saving grace, is what it is. We also did actually manage to get ourselves uh, enough keys for the library via golden key, so I'll go check that out really quick. One momento, my alarm's going off. Okay. We did a thing. Did we get Bookworm there? I wasn't paying attention. I don't think we did. <gasps> I forgot about the half heart. Also, we got the tank boy. Although, it's funny how, like, normally when you get the item, you get tank boys. You get, like, two little tank boys. But if you get it out of Monster Man well, you only get one tank boy. His brother is not with him. It's funny. Ow. Should probably check out this as well. It's an item. It's a fucking cast eye. Uh, this is that that's that's a telling symbol of this run, isn't it? That's truly a symbol of what we've got going on here. What do you want to add to this run? How about some cursed eye? 
really doesn't add much to this run either. Oh god, I feel gross. I feel very gross. Right, we've made it to the boss. I don't think I want to do the rest of this floor to try and find uh, sack room now. I'm not, I'm not enthused by that that idea at all. Just generate as many tears on screen as we possibly can. Hope that guides our light. I'm just making a bullshit to make us all feel better at the moment. Not feeling great about that. Gotta say, not feeling great about that. That rubs me the wrong way. Cursed I. Why, oh why, do you have to exist? I hate so much about the th things you choose to be. Just don't get hit, forehead, as the experts say. Well, we've made it past the fall on this time, at least. Luckily as well, your bullets travel slowly, which means we have a higher chance of grabbing them. I did just fire a rocket bomb there randomly. I'm not exactly sure why. Oh no, it's my tank boy, of course. Infamy just saved me from getting hit, thank you. I don't know if I would have teleported them, but I'm goddamn glad you did that. Why? Why? Who? Which which little genius made Cursed Eye a secret room item? Which one of you fuckers was it? Oh my god. I'm so frustrated. Oh, <laughs> that hurt so much. <laughs> that hurt. So goddamn much. I was like so close. I was like probably a second or less away from killing him then. Truly something evil. Why'd you get so close, boy? Why'd you get so close? Why'd you get so close, you motherfucker? Why'd you get so close? Ooh. Is this a gigabomb I see? That could come in handy. That could come in handy. Oh my god. How has he not been hit by all these shots that are flying around over the top of him right now? This rage mode bullshit can please stop, thank you. That's right, get fucked, big boy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was horrible. But we are on to the next floor. 
that Gigabomb, that came in clutch. Basically an entire phase skip there. Didn't realise that was reflected, I don't know how. Okay, so these are all duds. Um, although that, that black book is real good. But unfortunately, yeah, none of these really do much for us. And I just lost some HP. Why? Why does it have to be you? Did it really have to be you? To be fair, you died real fast. But I'm still annoyed. Ah, oh, you bastard. I tried my best to grab that golden bomb in time. It could not be done. It's a fun room, though. I like the idea. Oh, right. Mega Satan is out of the question now, unfortunately, unless there's a sack room on this floor, which I don't even know if, pot is, if it's plausible. So this is just a, a sprint to the finish. hit. I don't even know where I am right now. Scatter bombs. Thank you, good sir. Just die already. Just, just don't even try and do all your bullshit. Just go. I'm just having none of it right now. I need to leave this run immediately. Bomb those guys to get through their boss armor. See, the problem is I'm going to get teleported to like a, a random room that's fucking miles away from everything I'm getting involved with. It's going to be miles away from the boss. Dude, this rage mode thing... Don't like the rage mode modifier. Don't like it. I'm like proper like on the edge of my seat right now. This is a tense run. This is a tense run. Actually, it skipped me forward. It skipped me forward. Okay, let's keep on this trajectory. This is a kind of rough room here, but... Isn't nothing I can't do. A lot of bombs. I mean, everything's taken a considerable amount of damage, I'll say that. One dead. One to go, baby. These teleport you fucks are gonna get me. That was an easy room, okay. Hello. Free a moral heart to add to my collection. Don't mind if I do. Right, please tell me this is the right way. It's looking like it's so far, but this this floor can be very deceptive. I'm not gonna trust it quite yet. Oh there you go. How the fuck am I meant to not get hit? Oh my god, that was so close. I, d I actually didn't get hit there. I, I said that fully accepting my fate there, but somehow I got away with it. That little fucking bomb, god damn it. I forgot I had scatter bombs. Boss disc giving me quite a bit of extra damage. Let's just get this done, shall we? Lamb, I've killed you before as this character, but I am going to do it again. You will not teleport me out of this fight. My immoral hearts didn't chase after him, but I got hit. What happened there? Oh god, the fucking herming scaring me. Explosives are also quite scary. Okay, we split them, which is good and bad. It's progress, but also there's a lot more to worry about now. 
Oh, he did just pin them together, though, which is double damage. I'm so fucking stressed. Don't rage murder him. He takes double damage for now, but... Oh my god. Oh, no way I'm doing void. Fuck that. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a stressful run. I'll see you guys in the next one.